Knicks hosting the Pacers, and the Knicks are five-point favorites. The over-under is at 220.5. The Pacers are plus 168 on the money line, and the Knicks are minus 200. Now, this is game number two, and these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip-off tomorrow. The lineups for tomorrow's game are supposed to be as follows. Halliburton, Nemhard, Neesmith, Siakam, Turner, Brunson, DiVincenzo, Hart, Anobi, Hartenstein. Lineups have not been confirmed. That's just who's supposed to be there. And the Knicks can't rely on Brunson just keep putting up 40. It's a great run that he's on, and I'm happy as a fan. But inevitably, you know, good things come to an end. Now, head-to-head, the Knicks are 6-4. and four. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is 7-3 and three against the spread, while the favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The over is 6-4, and four, and the over 220.5 is 7-3. and three. They have played each other four times this season, and now with the game one victory, they're 2-2 two and two against each other. The Pacers won 140-26 in Indiana, then the Knicks won 109-105 in New York, then the Pacers beat the Knicks by 14 in New York, 125-111, and then the game that mattered... The Knicks won 121-117. They didn't cover. I think this will probably be a little bit along the same lines that the Knicks will win, but they won't cover. I'm going to take the Knicks with the money line. I will take the Pacers getting as many points as I possibly can, and I'm going to go over because seemingly the Pacers just don't play defense. And if they're going to win, they're going to have to figure out a way to stop Brunson, which is playing defense. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.